Okay, guys, this is a video I'm making, right? This is a, a leak that a customer of mine has had. And what's happening is this downspout right here for years before she, if you notice, by the way, they didn't do much to this house when she bought it. Notice how they really went crazy with these, these white things were all here. Oh, I got to fix that gutter uh, leaf guard. But anyway, notice how they did do that. So I get a call and there's a leak coming in the basement, which I find out this was backwards. Okay. Now, here's what I know, because when it comes to water, you gotta be careful. I use this hose to flood certain areas over here while we're mopping it up. And I found the leak. Is that downspot with nothing on it goes straight down. And for 20 something years, it's been working its way down. Because the water comes in under two minutes when you put the water there. That's how fast. And if I go a foot to the left or a foot to the right of this downspout, literally where the hoses, if I run it, the water won't come in. And if I go over here, the water won't come. Right there, it flies in. I'm sure it comes in slow if I'm there running a hose. But the point is that the water's here. So we were going to pour cement and get the grade away. So I said, it's getting too cold. I use this wafer board, I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna put it under the crushed stone and I'm gonna tip, taper it out so that if this thing falls off or freezes or if the gutter goes over and for some reason, and the biggest thing by the way, is if snow, the snow's gonna melt against the house, okay? You get a couple feet of snow, we're up here in Smithfield and that's gonna come down, it's gonna work its way into the cellar. Guaranteed I'm gonna get a call, right? However, the plot thickens, right? But the reason I'm recording this at this second is crushed stone, okay? Get the leaves out of the way. Crushed stone is not a cure. It, crushed stone makes everything look nice, okay? See right here? See the crushed stone? Okay, where's the water going? If you pour water there, five gallons, the water's gonna go here. And then it's gonna get itself here. This basement's underground. So now, of course, I gotta s try and figure out what this is, right? But it's solid anyway. My job today is to get the thing leaning out of here. We come across this, obviously, could be a main contributor. Now, a couple of things that you gotta consider here. There's things you know, and there's things you don't know. Some asshole clogged this solid, okay? And there's still stuff in there. I'm digging it out by hand, and a big rat come up and bit me. No, that's what you don't want to happen. So here's the thing. This is solid as a rock. Now, what I would see, it's if you look, see the angle that's going on? All right, and there is still pipe down here. That's all black crushed. I am starting to hit shit and I don't want to, I want to be able to do this job today. So, so what I would put that in for, there's two types of pipe. There's that schedule 40 and there's what we call the cheap shit. When you use drainage, you use the cheap shit. That's what happens to the cheap shit. That's why I don't use it. I'm going to cap that because if I send water down it, where it comes out in the basement is finished and I don't want to do any more damage. Secondly, this has been no problem since I put a bandaid on this. So what I'm about to do, even though it's not cement, it's going to, solve the problem i'm showing you something um oh I, I covered the pipe so if you look at the grade now i got no trouble at all stepping on that old piece of junk thing that i gotta replace anyway that's god telling me you gotta replace that steve so the grade is in my eyes right now couldn't be more perfect okay. and people think that they can do this and you have no idea because now the water might have most of it might have came this way and now what'll happen is you'll find out, I don't want to say this too loud, that all of a sudden everything from this house is flooding this guy's backyard or something. You don't know. But the thing is, the number one goal is to get it away from the basement and to drain it out. If you look at this grade, naturally, it wants to go away from the house, okay? And that's what we're gonna start next. Okay guys, I'm gonna make this short because it's a very critical, important part. Do not jump to conclusions. I want you to image that wafer board as a temporary pattern as to what I'm doing. And I'm gonna throw it away and I'm gonna replace it with permanent cement. Um, I do wanna take this moment to introduce you to my helper, my hoe. This is my hoe. She holds a tape measure for me. What's your channel? My channel is, I'm saying it like to be careful. It's simple is good, one word. Oh, and anybody can, that knows me is- I can subscribe if you want. I would love that. I got all my friends trying to subscribe and not one will subscribe. I got five though. Uh, I say my buddy. That's my buddy Adam. Mom, my boy, first no. friend and helper in the video. I'll delete it if you don't want you in. No, you can, um, you can, what's it called? You can blur my face out. Oh, all right. All right. So here's what I'm doing here. I'm showing them how Home Depot, I don't know if they noticed this from Home Depot, Adam. 
So they see I'm wrapping this in plastic and the plastic, the plastic is protecting the junk wood and the junk wood is holding the plastic in place. Yeah. I'll move on and then throw a shout out to my buddy Adam. We're gonna get his channel going too. Showing, we're showing him here, right? Adam's helping me now and it's actually moving quicker, so that's good. So you saw me wrap the plywood and now you see what I did it for and why I did it. For those of you that didn't know, the leak is literally under that gutter. Adam's gonna know more about this than the average person. Hi. There he is, there's my buddy. This guy helps me with everything and I never had a YouTube channel. Well, I had it, I never used it. So over here is overkill. We my didn't need that. My for a YouTube channel, so help me out. See that? <laughs> and that's what my dream was, only YouTube didn't exist. And what did you just do that I taught you not to do though? You gotta, we gotta show that to make sure that in case somebody sees it. What? Trying to teach my buddy here when he handles a hoe, right? That you gotta put it the right way. What do you mean? Yeah, I taught you that, come on. You gotta put that up like that. You know how many teeth I've lost like that? I tell everybody it was a bar fight, but it really was from that. All right. Um, on that note, see your mom's gonna be watching this video someday. But by then it's too late. By the way, I wanna mention right now, my buddy Adam Maybe here. It's too late. I, I'm not a professional. He's, this guy's helped me more than half the partners I've had in the last five years, all right? I've only had two, but still, a lot more. So one, the only reason why I'm recording this is to show you how it's buried. You don't have to worry about the pitch and the angle, just take my word for it, okay? And a key thing here, water will go through crushed stone and rock, but it has a hard time going through dirt. And now we'll put it in, we'll put it in. We're gonna have this buried in a half hour, we're gonna have this all set. We're gonna get the, I gotta get a tube off the other side of the house over there, Adam. I'm gonna get, this is like, from here it's gonna be finished. So that's it, guys. Over. And uh, that's my sunshine. She watches over me. Um, she knows she, who she is. Notice I stutter when I start talking about her. All right, I gotta get my head back in the game here and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, real quick, because it's getting dark on me here. A couple of quick things. Um, first of all, here it is filled in, okay? Finished job, better than what it was when I got here, okay? and you saw it was underneath and i can't overemphasize enough you gotta whenever you redirect water be alert i ain't gonna say it again because the neighbors are right over here and i don't want to say what i said but anyway um now remember water will go through crushed stone there's crushed stone there it ain't gonna go up into the window okay um the dirt as far as that goes that's down here where it's way beyond so i put the crushed stone up there except for the little dirt underneath you know so you don't want to you want to put the stuff in the right spots people think it's over here i got vinyl side and cement so i can bury it we're gonna i'm gonna tell her to get a bag of crushed stone a couple bags and i would dress this up with some nice crushed stone so that there's no mud but i mean you gotta realize once it gets packed look at it's nothing you know so this is beautiful this is better than i thought to be honest with you and uh Got a dog on the other side of the fence that just wants to eat me up. All right, on we go. Okay, people, this is the final walk. I just made daylight. Actually, I guess around four o'clock. I made a valley. This is overkill. Where I had to put end crushed stone, which is crushed stone all the way, but where it could get packed down. The, the, the lean here is overkill. Why there was even a leak there in the first place. Um, was because it was a hole, the downspout went straight down, probably 20, 30 years. Now, if somebody leaves that hose on, we see how I dressed it up with some stuff. We gotta put a couple bags over here because this would wash away, but it would never go through. It's gonna run away, it's gonna go into the valley underneath, and it's gonna go down. And I don't care if there's two feet of snow there, against the house's crushed stone, as it melts, it's gonna hit that, it's gonna run out. Over there, I made a little valley. That's way away from the problem. The problem was right here. When I had the hose running right there, I didn't have one drop of water in the cellar, okay? And the cellar opens up over there. So I don't wanna, again, this was overkill, but because of the way I was pitching this and the theory about, now, well, how I was starting to say this, so see how I put that on? That's literally at the end of the plastic, right? So if you use that correctly and made sure they worked right, you would never have this problem. But here's what happens. I had to clean out these gutters and they go over. And when they go over, the water lands there. So you do want to make sure you have, what I did you want, I mean, I would pour cement around this whole house, okay? And if you're watching me right now, and you're looking at this little stupid plastic thing on the roof, right? Let me show you, people, you know, let me show you what you do with this, right? That's what you do with that, okay? If that was bothering you, because I know people are gonna be making comments going, why don't you fix that? There you go, how's that? Look better? 
because it wasn't doing shit. Please, the last thing I'm gonna end this with, when you redirect water, I don't care if it's the Mississippi Ocean, or if it's a little tiny stream, or if it's a gutter, it's gonna go somewhere else. And you gotta make sure, man, I've, I've got burnt before, bad. You think you're doing something, you stop a good problem and you create two more. But over and out, let me clean this shit up. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody.